I've been feeling like I needed to share some thoughts for a while and I have a confession to make. I've been judging people and I, what I've been learning about myself and what I feel like God has been teaching me is something that I think is valuable for all of us. And that is when I am judging, I'm not looking at Christ. I'm just like Peter. I'm just like Peter and I get worried about what's going on in the storm. And there's so much of that going on right now. There's so much hatred going on for other people and their choices, whether they're good choices or bad choices, whether or not they're following God or not. Um, I mean, it's, it's just, it doesn't matter what it is. All Satan, the devil wants is for us to take our eyes off of Christ and we start sinking. All he has to do is divide and conquer. And it doesn't matter what the debate is. It doesn't matter if it's Trump. Um, it doesn't matter if it's Obama. It doesn't matter if it's um, your anti-vaccine or pro-vaccine, if you're homeschool, not homeschool, if you birth at home or you prefer a C-section, if you um, do alternative medicine or mainstream medicine, it doesn't matter. All he wants is division and hatred and animosity towards each other. And, and it's kind of like, um, you know, God says, pray for your enemies. Right now we have some really horrible things that have happened in Chicago with these four black 18 year olds that have taken a, a, an, an innocent white teenager and done horrible things to him. And there's a lot of hatred being sent to them right now. Did they do something absolutely horrific? For sure. Who wins as we fight and, and send hatred and anger towards them? You know what? These people, and I'm not just talking about these teenagers, but I'm talking about anyone who is getting hatred sent to them. I'm talking about Mr. Trump. I'm talking about Mr. Obama. I'm talking about, it doesn't matter who. People have so much hatred in their hearts and nobody wins. Nobody wins when we do that. What I know that I'm supposed to be doing for the people that I might think of as enemies is pray for them. Pray for them. Pray that angels will surround them and buoy them up and help them to make better decisions, to have their eyes opened, to have more love, more love and more support. And I'm not talking about accepting their decisions, but just loving them because they're a child of God. That's all.